that is a coconut. <laughs> we all want kids to have happy, healthy lives and at the core of this lies a very good diet. But sometimes parents are really not sure what this consists of and that's why we have Nikki on the show today. Nikki, how can parents ensure that their kids are eating the good stuff? Parents have to look at their own diets. Our children mimic exactly what we do, they model us. So if we're not eating a diet that consists of a lot of variety, different tastes, different textures, our kids are not going to be exposed to those things and they're going to be very resistant to incorporating a variety of healthy foods in their diet. So to get your child to eat the good stuff, you've got to eat the good stuff. What is a good diet for a growing child? Children need everything. So we need proteins, we need carbohydrates, we need an abundance of vegetables and one thing we do is we tend to eat just the browns and the whites and the yellows and the oranges but there's a spectrum of different colors and that's really important that kids get those different colors into their diets the reason being is that in all the colors you've got something called phytonutrients and phytonutrients are parts of the plant that help that plant resist disease and viruses so when we eat those phytonutrients we also become really strong our immune systems become really good at fighting those disease and bacteria and viruses that we're exposed to. So that's why we're meant to eat these things. So it's really important to get your kids to eat rainbows every day. If you can get through to a child that they should be eating rainbows, it's going to be a lot more fun for them than just eating their veggies. The problem is that as parents, when a child is fussy, we give in and we give them what they want. And we give them fruit instead of veggies because we think that at least it's fruit, at least it's natural, at least it's healthy. So we're giving a better option. But the problem there is if you just give a child fruit, they lose the taste for veggies vegetables and it's really difficult to get them to actually eat those veggies. Fruits are very high in sugar and that's going to cause a problem if they eat too many. So when we're talking rainbows, we're talking everything from the reds, the purples, the greens, yellows, oranges and when you really start looking there's so much that you can incorporate. There's such an abundance. What are the critical vitamins and nutrients required to supplement a daily diet? Okay, so you've got to remember that kids are growing and their bones are growing. So those bones need calcium, but a lot of people don't realize that for that calcium to be synthesized and to get where it needs to be, you need vitamin D, you need a lot of oily vitamins, the fat soluble vitamins, so that's A, D, E, and K. And you need things like oily fish. So the oils are really important. Your omega-3 oils are critically important for children for growth, development, and brain function. That's really, really important. Also, children have immature immune systems and they're exposed to a lot of pathogens, a lot of viruses and diseases at school. And that's normal. We're supposed to build up our immune system that way. But to support the immune system, it's really important to get a lot of vitamin C. And you'll find that in all of your red fruits and vegetables. So your peppers and your strawberries and, of course, all of your citrus fruit. Even the limes and lemons, grapefruit, full of vitamin C. And funnily enough, kiwi fruit as well. Then you also need to make sure that your kids get a good spectrum of the, all the B vitamins. Very, very important to make sure that they recover more efficiently when they've been ill because they, oh, they're going to get sick. So we want to make sure that the recovery process is really quick. And you will find those in, say, your mushrooms and uh, a lot of potatoes, sweet potatoes, high in vitamin B, and of course your spinach and those kind of greens. That really helps to support the immune system and make sure that when they do get ill, it's not going to take them down for a very long time. Making the right choice is obviously very important, selecting the right foods and treats that are high in nutrients and vitamins. So when you want to get your child used to eating things that are, they consider treats, you would want to look at smoothies made from fresh fruit and whey protein, for instance. Treats made from peanut butter and whole foods, rather than the junk foods and the biscuits that we associate with treat foods. There's nothing wrong with children eating junk food on the odd occasion, and it's really important not to be too paranoid about them eating junk food because they're going to be exposed to it. And if you don't make a big deal over it, they're not going to make a big deal over it. But if you do want them to experience a lot of different foods, you've got to start experimenting at home with, with happy food. Nikki, thank you so much for sharing your interesting views about this topic. I'm sure parents out there will have benefited from your knowledge and wisdom. Thank you so much. If any of our viewers have concerns or queries about this topic, we suggest that you consult your medical practitioner.